What's up everybody? Out shed hunting today, so hopefully we'll get on them. I'll uh, have the GoPro rolling, so we'll see what we get. Sucker, I wish I had a gun, I'd have smoked him. I'd have smoked him. I hadn't seen a whole lot. Yeah. Just found a shed. Really? Yeah. It is. All right. So we're 15 minutes in, and I just found the first shed. Would have been a little six point. It was just laying right there. Pretty cool. Y'all keep watching. I'm gonna give some uh, tips on finding sheds, and uh, also do a couple a review on a couple items that I've got today. So. Here we go. 30 minutes in now. It's only about 15 minutes. Just found another shed. Pretty cool. You spooked five does out over there. Yeah. yeah. That's not a knife. I think you can shoot it by coyote. Right here on this deal. Huh? Yeah, that's a little dead. Is it a hammer? Yeah. That's not that. It's pretty old. I mean, that grass. Is... Look at this field. I'll show you this field real quick. All right. I have found three dead deer and as you can see that other one that my pastor found as well that deer there. this is a uh, little buck you can tell a spike a little guy you want to find you know that's your future your up-and-comers but you know God makes a way of uh, you know evening the herd out so I don't know if he got caught by a coyote or got shot or what happened but it's part of it I got a little tip for you so I got my bino harness and binos so I thought I'd just seen a shed over there so what i did is instead of having to walk over there 70 yards you can grab the binos glass it and then realize that it is just uh, some grass so you know make sure when you're shed hunting you got a good pair of binoculars and a good bino harness this is the new view 
harness which uh, I'll do a review at the end of this video so y'all make sure you watch to the end. Well, it's the afternoon and we've been at it most of the day. Haven't found any more till just now. I'm heading over to see how good it is. All right, a tip. A tip would be to obviously follow trails, look at the ground. Let's go see where he found this one at. You found one? Oh, I just found a mega. Yeah, mega. Yep. I think we just matched them up. I was going over to him. Is that it? No way. Look at that. I think we just got us a double set. Different deal. Oh, look at that. It is the same deer. That's the same deer. Oh. Look at that. Look at that stud. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There's the matching set right there. Beautiful ten point. He broke that brow off. He got good, good times, good beams. Yeah, fresh. Still we can got, literally just smell look, it. Look, look, look at the blood on it. Still got blood on it. Yeah. That's fresh. Super fresh. Beautiful buck. Yeah, he's a good deer. He's solid, heavy. Good three-year-old, probably. Good rattling horns. Is that the biggest, biggest shed you found? Yeah, that's Anywhere? my, that's my biggest. Blood on it still. So look, how you can tell, real fresh. Watch how, how greasy this is gonna be. See how soft that is? Mm -hmm. That wax ring. That wax is still. Still got blood on it. Yeah. That's awesome. We could have bumped him and fell off running off. That's heavy. Yeah, he's got some mass. Let's go find some more. Let's do it. That's why we've been out here almost all day. I just wanted to show y'all. So the uh, side that he found was right here. The side I found was literally right over there, probably 25 yards. So he had shed both of them within 25 yards of each other. So sometimes they hold for a day or two or sometimes they drop pretty quick. So just a tip, if you find one, keep looking in that area because odds are that other one's somewhere around. Here you go, you never know what you're gonna find. Dead raccoon. There's a nice scrape right there. You know, all these trails, but yeah, you never know what you'll find out here. dead rat kind of weird all right everyone as you can tell I've made it back home I did want to run over a couple of items that I had out there uh, with me today first off is this bino harness this is the new view hunting bino harness it's a really great product uh, worked really well for me uh, first off you can see you've got the the easy buckles up front so you can go ahead and buckle those on. You can see from behind me, you know, you've got the straps and you can unhook these on the bottom. So it's uh, really easy to put on and off. You know, all you gotta do is put it over your head. I usually pick this up, reach back, grab that, and it's just as easy as snap and I'm good to go. That's that side, this side, just as easy right there. 
So as you could see in the woods, I didn't actually have this on here. So on the side here, you have a uh, this little pouch here, which you can either run a cell phone or you can run a range finder. Uh, so if you were running that range finder, you could just pop that open, grab your range finder, boom, pull it out range. Uh, yesterday I was just shed hunting, so I didn't have to have that on there. So, you know, I can just pop this out and remove it. So that's how I was running it yesterday, but it's nice size. It's got the buckle, so it makes it very easy to take on and off. So I did want to show you a couple other features. So first off, if I need my binoculars, I can just pop this off open up and I have easy access right there boom just pull them right out and I do have this so if I want to drop them I can do that as well but right here I can look through my binoculars put them up just drop them right back in there come around grab that boom and I'm good to go so it's quick and easy you do have this strap up top if you want to do that uh, on the back side I'll show you here in a minute but there is some other features that are cool up front you got this little zip pouch so if you want to put your cell phone in there something like that you could do that uh, so it's it's really nice size you know on the side here you do have these elastic so you can put something in here if you want a windicator or something like that you can put that in there uh, on this side same thing for that so you've got your two pouches on the sides you've got your pouch on the front Something really neat, I'll show you on the back side as well. There is a zip zipper pouch here that I can access here. So I can drop something in on the back side. So there's a lot of storage, which is, makes it very nice. Also on the bottom side, there's a zipper here. So I can go like this, pull this out, and boom. Oh, right like that. So perfect. So I've got blaze orange. So as I was walking through the woods, I had camo on, you know, had somebody with me to make it easier for, so they could see me. I put this orange on that way, you know, they could see it. So I think this is also a uh, water repellent as well. So you can, if it starts raining, you can put this on. If it's during firearm season, you can also do this. And it's just that quick and easy. I can grab it, and just shove it right back into the bottom, right like that and then zip it up so like i said this is the new view hunting bino harness worked really well for me yesterday uh, right here you know i've got my compass so and then if i want to take these off i can take that off i can also take this off so i just have this that way i can grab my binoculars and set them down if i didn't want to put them back in there but there's a lot of really good features to it a great product worked really well i would definitely recommend if you're in the market looking for binocular harness to uh, give this one a try so, right there like i said again new view hunting check it out you're gonna love it so the second item that i want to do a review on today is going to be the snake gaiters as well so as you can see here i've got regular these are just some rubber boots these are not snake proof or anything like that so you know, in the south, you got a lot of hot weather, especially, you know, with the springtime it warming up. You never know when you might run into a snake. So these gators, there's going to be multiple uses. Uh, and I'm going to go over that. You, you could see it in the footage earlier. You know, I had them on and they worked and performed really well. So in my hand here, like I said, I've got these boots. These are rubber boots. And I don't know if you can tell here, but there's all kinds of scratches and stuff. So where I was actually working through the woods yesterday, there was a ton of briars and things like that. Uh, this is obviously from the past, but as you can see up here, there's not near as much. But the way these are gonna work, uh, their design is really nice. Because you know, they're a little bit muddy because I got mud on the bottom. But what you would do, you would slide the toe of the boot right through here, wrap the back like that and that, and then you'll grab your buckle reach around and buckle that. So I'm gonna do this on this boot as a demonstration for you. So I'm gonna slide that, you know, right through the bottom there, slide that back. And then it goes up with pretty good, good height. So right here, I'm gonna wrap this around like that. And what I'll do, I'm actually gonna go, it's easier when you have your boots on, but what I'll do is go right like that, wrap that around. I'm gonna hold this, come around there, and 
buckle that up, reach around here, pull that in, buckle that up, boom. And then you can tighten it up however tight you need. But as you can tell here, you know, it covers out, you know, pretty much all, almost all the way to the end of the toe. And then, uh, you know, you've got good coverage on the top of your foot, also on the sides. But what I liked about it is a lot of times when you're walking around through those sticker briars and limbs and stuff like that, you can feel those brushing up against your legs and stuff. But you can see on here, I don't know how well you can see, but you've got some scratches and stuff where I hit other limbs, uh, briars and things like that. So if you don't have boots on, if you just got a pair of like regular hiking boots, not actual rubber boots, you know, it's going to give you that added protection. Plus, like I said, you know, that's going to be a good ways up your leg. So for snake protection, it worked really well. It's uh, very quick and easy on and off. You, like I said, just boom, boom. You've got two buckles there, but worked really well. Again, this is the new view hunting uh, snake protection. So that's going to be your leg snake gaiters is what they are. So check them out, new view hunting. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I would ask several things of you if you made it this far. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. And also give this video a like. And uh, one thing I would like for you to do, I just kind of want to know my audience a little bit better. So uh, if you're from Missouri and you're watching, if you've been out shed hunting, let me know. Like, yeah, I'm from Missouri. I've found two sheds so far. Or if you're from Florida or Texas, like Oklahoma, if you're from Kansas, I don't care where you're from. If you're from Pennsylvania, wherever you're watching from, let me know. Say, oh yeah, my name is Ryan. I'm from, you know, Pennsylvania. I found three sheds. So that would be awesome. I just want to get to know you guys a little more and all of that. So also, uh, if you haven't already done so, go below and in the description, I'll have uh, links. So there's going to be a link to the new view hunting and uh, if you click that link you'll be able to go over there see a lot of the gear uh, as you could tell in the very beginning of the video uh, it was really chilly in the morning so i was wearing my new view hunting jacket so uh, that jacket is on new view uh, i had the pants i wasn't wearing those right then but uh, you can buy that combo uh, the the jacket and the pants the suit uh, they work really well they are water resistant i had a video a while back of duck hunting uh, so I'll go ahead and post that video and you can see, you know, where it was water resistant. The mud didn't give any effect to those pants. Awesome product. And then, you know, as you just seen, we had the binoculars and also the snake gators. So go over to New View, check their stuff out. They also have a YouTube channel. Check them out. They're a great product. Uh, it'd be a great gift for moms, dads, uh, hunting buddies, whoever it might be. Check out New View Hunting. And uh, give them a like, give them a follow. Uh, I've been using their gear now for a while, and you know I'm using it all around. Their camo, their binos, uh, snake gaiters. They also have some really awesome cutlery kits. Whether it's looking for a skinny knife, or if you're looking for a fillet kit, uh, I've got videos there as well. So I'll I'll put one of those fillet videos or the skinning kits. I've, I skinned some ducks, and then also we worked on some pigs the other day. But I should have a, a video coming out soon for fish and fillet using that fillet kit. So y'all stay tuned. You know, please, like I said, you know, subscribe to me, share this with your buddies. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope y'all are having a great season. Turkey season's right around the corner, so I'm sure I'll have some turkey hunts coming soon. So thank you so much, and God bless you. Y'all have a good one.